When Jesus was on earth, he noticed that a lot of people in the temple were doing good things and praying long prayers to make other people notice them. Jesus said that it is not what God wants. Jesus told them that God cares about who we are when no one else is looking and that it's best to find a quiet place to open up your heart and talk to God by praying. Jesus knew that his followers could use some help knowing how to pray. So he taught them a prayer. It started like this. Our Father in heaven, we pray that your name will always be kept holy. The Bible tells us that God is our Father. God is a good Father that loves his kids and takes care of them. So when we pray, we can call him Father. On the count of three, let me hear you say Father. One, two, three, Father. Father. That's it. And God's name is special, so we always want to treat it that way. If someone makes fun of your name or says it in a bad way, it probably doesn't make you feel very good. The same is true with God. He is most special, so we always want to honor his holy name. The next part of the prayer says, we pray that your kingdom will come. We pray that what you want will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. When we pray, it's good to tell God that we want what he wants because he knows what's best. Now, let me see you all rub your tummies. Good job. I wanted you to do that because the next thing Jesus told us we can pray is, give us the food we need for each day. This means that we can ask God to give us anything that we need today, like food to eat. Then the prayer says, forgive the sins we have done, just as we have forgiven those who did wrong to us. When we pray, we should ask God to forgive us for anything we've done wrong. And we can tell God that we will forgive people who have done wrong things to us. As we finish praying, Jesus said that we can ask God to keep us from doing wrong things and to protect us from the wrong things other people do. When we're done, we say, Amen, to show that we mean what we've prayed and believe God will hear it. God is a good Father, and whenever you open up your heart to Him, He hears you. God wants to talk to you and listen to you, just like you spend time talking and listening to your friends.